Hello again, everybody out there in YouTube land. Going on and coming at you again, this time after a nice shower. Like, you know, I'm, I'm probably cleaner than I've been in a while talking to you guys. I usually talk to you right after I've been toiling. Um, this was originally a video I was going to do um, with Flip, Mood, Flip Move as a... As a uh, Oops. Hang on just a second. <clears throat> I want to be able to lean back, but, you know, not have to be away from the screen there. Okay. So anyway, this is a video that I was originally going to do a flip move as a, a, a Denim Texas podcast, but, and I might do a separate one with him later, uh, but I want to leave this one up for a while and just gauge how it does. So, I'm going to go ahead and talk with you guys about my opinions on, <coughs> excuse me, gun control. Now, um, my gun background. Um, I have a lot of air rifles growing up, and, um, recently got into shooting actual firearms. Not, not too recently. I mean, I've always been into firearms. But, after shooting some real ones, I've, you know, I had a really good time doing that. You know, shot some AR-15s, uh, you know, some AKs, stuff like that, shotguns. And, um, I kind of came to realize that those things are only as dangerous as the person using them. Of course, there's certain maintenance that needs to be performed on firearms to ensure that they're safe. And um, if the firearms owner or, main, or the person in charge of it isn't doing that, then that's hardly um, something that's, you know, if there was an accident with it, it wasn't expected. It just wasn't maintained properly. And I will stress again, uh, maintain and clean your firearms. Um, you know, you may not, you know, and it, it, it depends on how many rounds you put through the things. You know, if you go put, you know, 500 rounds through your AR, you know, you might want to clean it when you're done. If you put 30 or 40 through it, you know, just to go out and shoot a tad bit, that's, that's, you probably, you know, hmm. sorry, you can probably wait till next time. Shoot it and clean it. And then again, there's one or two people I know who never who never clean their firearms. And I don't know if that's really a good idea. Um, of course, you know, you have to keep these things away from kids and such. I mean, that that's the firearm owner's responsibility as well. Um, to, you know, kind of maintain the safety of that firearm. So, um, all that being said, I'm pretty pro-Second Amendment. Um, I don't think that you can count on the police. And I think a lot of police would probably agree with me here. Police, um, police show up when things are over, uh, to take notes and collect the people who probably died wrongly. Um... They are not a good first line of defense, at least not anymore. In fact, in my hometown, protect and serve has been removed from the cars. So, you know, that, that's kind of that. If you are relying on the police to come and save you when something bad goes down, then, you know, it's probably going to take them half an hour to show up. Now, so that being said, I think that it's your responsibility uh, to kind of protect yourself and, and the people that you care about. Now, how you generally choose to go about that is, is up to you, of course. But a gun's a pretty good choice. Um, so, yeah, very pro-Second Amendment. In fact, uh, I think that 
everybody over the age of 21 should be required to uh, carry a sidearm, uh, to open carry a sidearm. Um, and, and, you know, there are probably a few people freaking out right now hearing me say this stuff, but look up states and counties and such where open carry is, um, is allowed. I'm remembering years ago now, I must have been eight or so, seven or eight, so this would be, this would be like the, the mid 80s, uh, late 80s, something like that, and I remember watching an episode of 2020 with my dad, and I don't remember where this town was exactly, um, it might have been in Texas, somewhere in North Texas, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure where it was, but it was a city somewhere like, you know, like a mom and pop kind of city, not the biggest place in the world, but everybody there, every adult was required by law to open carry at least one handgun. And there were a couple of guys walking around with like two 1911s on and stuff like that. And, um, that town has absolutely, had absolutely zero, zero crime. Um, because, you know, <laughs> you could be stupid to do anything. Uh, I mean, you know the guy at the counter's got a gun. You know the guy outside has a gun. I mean, you might have one, too, because you're in town, but thinking of committing a crime in that city, um, <laughs> you're not going to leave the place alive. Now, that might be kind of cruel and harsh, but... A lot of people um, tend to believe once you've done something like that, you've given up your rights as a human. I don't know, uh, I'm not going to go there with my opinions, but, you know, th that is a good point. Um, so, so uh, you know, uh, I, I think that a lot of people would say it's a deal with the devil, but you know what, that happened many hundreds of years ago now. And there's not really anything to do about it. I mean, there was this scare of a ban um, recently, and um, I think that's just, uh, you know, a friend of mine said recently that, that was just the morning our nation needed to go through part of it. Um, but when it comes down to it, uh, you know, owning a firearm is considered pretty American. Uh, you know, we're one of the only countries where you can do that. I mean, there are other exceptions, you know, Switzerland, uh, for example, um, and a few other places all over the world. Um, but, you know, the most, the most dangerous place that you can be these days is a gun-free zone, because you know, the bad guys don't care about those laws. So, the only, the only people <sighs> that these nannying gun laws and legislation affects are good, honest, hard-working, law-obeying Americans. Criminals will get what they need. You know, they can get all the heat they want. They don't have to go through any paperwork or anything like that. Um, so, so yeah, that's kind of where I am on it. Um, now, I wonder what states uh, require, like, have open carry. Let me look real quick. Open carry states. Let's see. Open carry in the United States. Aw, oh, come on. Let's see. I'm uh, looking at the Wikipedia article on this. Sorry. Uh, oh, Chrome has crashed on me. Um. All right, so I guess I'm going to have to get that back up, but my computer's complaining about memory. I only have four gigs in this thing, so it's not a lot. Uh, anyway, uh, in the states where, where there, there are uh, open carry laws, um, 
they just tend to be safer, you know? Um, and keep in mind also that the mentality of most gun owners, I mean, they're, they're, they're again, some of the most law-abiding citizens out there. Especially, like, the people that own, like, Class 3 stuff. I don't think that there has ever been um, a crime committed with a registered uh, machine gun, uh, full auto machine gun, uh, at least not by the owner <coughs> of said, <of> said firearm. <coughs> so, a lot of you probably think, uh, a lot of you out there probably think we should just get rid of the things or whatever, but, you know, I, I just I, can't, I just can't jump on board there and say that that would be a good idea. Um, and there are, there are several reasons for that. Uh, <clears throat> but keep in mind that the Second Amendment is there to <clears throat> allow us to protect ourselves from tyranny. Um, so, you know, again, it really, it, 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 it's, it's there, I mean, it's there for us to keep our country and nation in check, um, a bit, you know, or, 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 you know, to keep the people in charge in check, uh, because, you know, where the you know, Americans in general are fairly well armed. There's like three million guns in the, the country or something like that. So, um, for me to like say, you know, that doesn't work or I mean, um, there's, there's evidence to support that, that that kind of thing does work. Um, now, I, I say I think people should open carry, but I, I think that there's a lot of appropriate training, um, I think there's a lot of training that goes on with that, goes along with that. Um, you, you can't just, um, shoot through a crowd of people at an attacker, uh, or, or, or a, a gunman, or, or, you know, somebody causing havoc. I mean, you'll hit people. Um, you know, there's, I mean, you need that training, uh, in order to make it all work, uh, properly. Um, if you don't have that training, then it's possible you could get yourself or, or others that don't deserve to be hurt hurt. I don't know if it's possible to avoid all all other casualties because you know when people get caught in crossfires. It's not you know. But if everybody had the appropriate training, then some people probably wouldn't get caught in crossfires. And everybody, the only person who would ever shoot up a movie theater again would be somebody that wanted to die. He might kill one or two people, but he's just going to be loaded with. With bullets and stuff like that. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be back with part B and then I'm going to have to restart my machine.